Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're touring the Palo Verde floor plan. Beautiful three-story home built by Pulte in the southwest of Las Vegas Valley. We have 3,074 square feet with four bedrooms up to five bedrooms, uh, two and a half bathrooms and a two-car garage. Now we're located in the southwest of the Las Vegas Valley. Uh, we are, uh, the closest intersections are uh, Buffalo and Windmill. We have uh, HOA here at Cordora, which is the community name. Uh, HOA of $40 a month, no SIDS or no LIDS because we're not part of a master plan community. And uh, our lot premiums range anywhere between $10,000 to $20,000 with uh, a square footage on the lot premiums of anywhere between 3,300 to 5,600 square feet. As we walk in here, we'll find a beautiful elevation with a stack stone in the front, uh, which is uh, optional to get that one. It costs about $5,000 to upgrade the elevation. We have a front balcony, which is included in the base price. Nice stair rails here going up to the front entrance. That front entrance uh, is an upgraded door and it comes with that elevation, however. Okay, so that the upgrade will be the elevation cost. As we walk in here, we'll walk into a split level. Uh, which is going to get us over to the middle floor, which has, which is pretty much the main floor with the nine foot ceilings in here. Now this uh, main floor is a nice open floor plan over here with uh, an extra den over here. And then uh, upstairs we'll have all the bedrooms, which is four bedrooms, uh, including the owner suite. And then downstairs we'll have um, a huge game room, which is what's included with um, What's it called? With uh, an option to do an extra second owner suite downstairs. So it could be up to two owner suites. Now, let me show you a little bit this open floor plan. We're gonna go over a little bit of pricing, what this house costs included uh, with, with what's included in the base price, plus all the options to upgrade this house if you were to do it as a model home. Now, uh, this home starts at $610,000, 880. Sorry, $610,880. Uh, as I mentioned, the lot premiums are ranging from 10 to 20. And then in this specific home, they did add, including everything. So all these upgrades you see in here, appliances, uh, covered balcony outside, uh, you know, landscaping and all of that. This specific model would cost you a total of $266,000 in upgrades, so with a total out the door of $891,000. Now, let's start from this floor right here. So the middle floor, as I, as I mentioned, comes with the nine foot ceilings. All the other two floors are eight foot ceilings. There's not an option to upgrade and increase the height. As we see in here, we have $5,800. Uh, for this fireplace of an upgrade that does not include the tile that they added on top of it uh, Which would be a custom option that you choose at the design center over here in the kitchen We have uh, plenty of cabinet room here with uh, the cabinets going all the way up to the ceiling uh, Those uh, uh, those cabinets are definitely an upgrade. It comes with a 42 inch cabinet however, but it's a regular birch cabinet style now the kitchen cabinets, the stacked cabinets are $5,980 for those on top. The, uh, the cabinets, uh, what's it called? Yep, the cabinets themselves, uh, in order to upgrade them, are uh, approximately $14,000 total, okay? That's throughout the whole house, all right? Then we have a uh, Whirlpool appliance package. This is definitely, one of their highest tier level uh, appliance packages, which comes with two ovens, a microwave here, which now right now they have a loaner here, but it will be a built-in microwave as well by Whirlpool. The Whirlpool cooktop with the 36 inch, um, uh, you know, cooktop and five burners, and then the canopy hood on top. Now those appliances, in order to get the whole package, we're looking at $5,470. Okay, kitchen faucet over here, just this faucet right here is 1,140. We have the countertops in the kitchen, which are going for 
uh, 4,000. Yes, so uh, approximately for the whole kitchen right here, these are two different countertops, uh, which match very well together. But these are going for approximately $5,600 for both countertops right here. Included, we have the undermounted sink, just like you see it. This is the Mary sink, undermounted dual basin sink. Uh, this is what's included. You can do the single basin sink for about $560. When you walk into your pantry over here, you'll find the wooden shelves, which is the included option. And nice, turns around there on the corner. Looks really good. Good size pantry. And then uh, refrigerator, obviously they have a loader right here. Most likely they will put a bigger one if they had access to these Whirlpool appliances, but because of the shortages, they don't have that. The cabinets, the reason why they're 14,000 is because of the full overlay as well. So 14,000 plus the stacks, uh, plus the stacked uh, top right there. So we're looking at about 21,000 out the door for th everything you see here in the model home. Now these ones, they do have uh, the full overlay option. So as you can see, there's no space in between uh, the two cabinet doors and on the sides, or there's barely any. So which makes it a little bit more upgraded cabinet. Over onto the side, it looks like it's stapled here. So it's not really the best quality cabinet. I think they're overcharging for this quality of a cabinet, but hey, that's what it costs. I see uh, even Toll Brothers offers those cabinets for approximately the same price. And um, you can do the, the ducktail finish on your drawers and everything. It's just gonna cost you a little bit more because you would have to get the soft close finish. Now here in the back, you do have a beautiful balcony. Uh, this option for the balcony is $34,000, okay? That will give you also the cover patio underneath. You get the stair rails, sorry, the rails over here. And then underneath, you'll get the pavers over there. To add those uh, pavers out there, it's another $600. For the fire pit over there, I don't think that's an option, but um, because it will be part of your landscaping and you will have to do it after. The landscaping in this uh, backyard, which we'll see in a second, are is going for... Well, they paid for uh, $18,000. I do like this option right here because on this same floor plan, on the same floor right here, well, we have a nice open floor plan. You can have your, well, as you can see right here, you don't have your uh, dining room back here, okay? Now you do have, however, right here, an extended island, okay? So if you don't get the extended island, it will be shorter right here, which would make uh, this a perfect spot to put your dining room or you can extend the island. You can have five seats right here, plenty of room with those five seats. And then over here, you can do your formal dining room if that's what you prefer. Or you can make this a den, an office. It could be a second room with a TV uh, right there. And then you have the balcony over to the front, which is the included option. So this balcony right here that you see in the front of the house is included in the base price, okay? Now, the kitchen island upgrade is $3,500, okay? So something to consider if you wanted to extend that kitchen island out. Um, that's what it would cost you. All right. Now, we're going to try to go upstairs and show you the upstairs. Uh, sorry, first we'll go to the first floor and show you that uh, suite downstairs. But I want to show you here on the floor plan what we have. So as you can see, included in the base price, this is the included uh, floor plan, which will be a game room, just one big room downstairs. And then storage and your two car garage. This would be the level that we're on right now. And then the third level would be all the bedrooms with the one, two, three, and four bedrooms. Optionally, you can get that balcony, as I mentioned, 34,000. Then you also have an option to get a covered patio, a regular covered patio. This one is 16,000 and it's a 12 by 10. It's a built-in one though. Uh, and then right here you have the option of the suite downstairs, which, you w which is what this model has. And it has the full bathroom downstairs with the walk-in closet. And then right here you would go to the garage with the game room too, okay? Optionally, uh, if you get the regular one, it has the powder room right here. You can get the powder room, but that's not the included option, okay? You don't get the powder room downstairs in the included option, all right? So as I mentioned, it starts at 610. This one is at 891 out the door. But let's go downstairs and see what we have. Now we do have stair rails here throughout the house, which is an upgrade, okay? Um, the stair rails price, where was it? I forgot it. 
Nice entrance over here, by the way. Uh, we got the tile here in the entrance, including the base price. You do get a 17 by 17 tile, 42 inch cabinets. Um, 17 by 17 tile only on the wet area, so kitchen, entry. Uh, and then actually in the bathrooms, you get a, a vinyl sheet. Okay, so then you would have to upgrade from there. Then the stairs will cost you, depending on which location, because you can put them pretty much anywhere. Uh, this one has the pony wall going down, but um, you know, all these stairs right here, they're costing you approximately one, two, three, four, seven, eight thousand dollars for these stair rails. If you wanted to add this as a stair rail too, it would be probably around nine. Okay. So going downstairs, we do have this nice game room over here, which would be your den or whatever loft area kind of thing, but it's downstairs. Or this would be all open going all the way to that wall over there, which is in this optional suite downstairs. It would be a big game room. So that would be a great option for you. Now, uh, that's the six foot eight door included, which leads you over to the backyard. Over here to the right, we have some storage space to the right. And the full bathroom downstairs for that in, in that suite. Okay, this one is closed off because it's a private office. The, the garages are not the biggest, in my opinion here. They're not amazing. They're 17 feet wide. It doesn't have much room. But this is a nice size suite, I'll tell you that. I mean, we're looking at about 17 over here by 12. So really good size. I mean, that's a king size bed with plenty of room on the sides. And then over here, you can also add a sliding door if you wanted to. Now this one has, as I mentioned, all that 21,000 would include also the cabinets down here with all the hardware and all that stuff. Then the countertops, these are an upgrade. This is a level two upgrade. It's a quartz Piedrafina. Uh, with the undermounted sink, which is another 300 per sink, all the fixtures here uh, for the whole house. It goes depending on how many fixtures you're gonna upgrade. It will be probably five to probably six to seven thousand for this house because it has an extra bedroom bathroom compared to the other models. We do have here uh, your walk-in shower. This one is all tiled up, including the base price you'll get in the in the suite right here. You'll get a culture marble finish on the walls and the fiberglass pen right there. If you wear to upgrade, you can go for this tile. Something like this is gonna run you around three thousand to four thousand dollars for this bathroom. For this bathroom to upgrade the tile. In addition, uh, yeah, to. Um, yeah, in addition to also adding this uh, thicker glass right here, this which is a 3 8 of an inch uh, glass for the shower. Walk-in closet down here. Pretty good size. And then, yeah, so this upgrade for the suite downstairs costs... It costs... The balcony, da da da. $30,410, okay? $30,410 for that suite downstairs. So that was all included in the 891 that I mentioned. So if you were to buy this house right now, this model home, you're probably looking at around $900,000 if you were to get it exactly the way this one is, or, you know, build it yourself with these options. I don't know if I went in here to the laundry room, but laundry room, we do have the laundry cabinets. Um, for the upper cabinets, it's $2,100 for those. And then these cabinets right here, you're looking at $4,600, which would include all the plumbing to get to the laundry sink and all of that. In addition to the sink, uh, the countertop. And then right here, you have that uh, extra, you know, uh, washer and dryer are optional if you want to get it with them. Over here you get a pedestal sink just like this included in your powder room. And then a regular mirror, this is a upgraded option. Or you can decide also with their design center to not put anything in. That way you can purchase your own mirrors. Usually the smartest options as far as, you know, being uh, trying to save some money on the house. I like this, this is cool. You know, nice open to below. And then we go to the third floor where we have all the bedrooms. Now, up here, we have included um, this bedroom right here is uh, your owner suite. Then we have another three bedrooms, one, two, and 
three bedrooms and the bathroom over here for those three beds. Let's walk all around and see which ones, what size they are. Pretty good size actually. Look at that. Uh, 10 by 11 with the walk-in closet as well. Now in these uh, bedrooms, we do have upgraded lighting throughout. So each recess lights is gonna run you $250, plus the ceiling fan pre-wire in these bedrooms is gonna run you 350. Uh, the included ceiling fan pre-wire is only in the owner suite and in your great room. This would be the bathroom over here for these three bedrooms. We have two undermounted sinks. Now the second sink is optional. It comes with one sink, but also here we have an upgraded uh, quartz finish. And then also right there, they added the tile to the tub, which is an extra uh, upgrade. I love this tile because it does look uh, handmade. As you can see the finish over here. And it has a little tan to it compared to the white here. Looks really good with that black uh, fixture right there. This one does not have a water closet, so it's not gonna be closed off the toilet. A little bit of a, of a bummer there. But hey, who cares? It's the kids' bathroom, right? Anyway, we have right here, second bedroom. This is a, also a 10 by 11, so it's not the biggest size bedrooms, but really good size, nevertheless. Walk-in closet. The cool thing is that so far we've seen two bedrooms here with the walk-in closets, and the third one as well. Well, not quite a walk-in closet. I mean, still has a door right here, but not bad. And then about the same size, 10 by 11. Eight foot ceilings here on the third floor is what's included. It comes with the white paint throughout the house. If you wanna to upgrade to the two-tone paint and have something like this, that's probably gonna cost you around $2,500 if you wanna do it with that. Here is the owner suite. Very good size. We're looking at 13 on that wall by almost, almost 20. It's probably 19 feet deep. So a really good size bedroom. And uh, yeah, let's go see what this uh, owner suite has in the bathroom here. I want to pull up this upgrade to see what it has. And this is actually the included option, as a matter of fact. It's just the tile here is an upgrade. So what it comes with is the fiberglass pan, and then over here you get culture marble on the walls. If you want to upgrade to the tile, this, my guesstimate is going to be probably five to six thousand dollars with their design center. Another two thousand for the for the glass because it's a thicker one, and then the cabinets. We talked about that already. Pretty much the same thing as everywhere else. You got your water closet over to the right, and then right here, full walk-in closet. Okay, that's pretty much going to be it for today's video, guys. Appreciate you watching until the end. If you have any questions about any of these homes, if you need any help purchasing a house, feel free to reach out to me. I'm only one phone call away. All my information is down below in the description, my phone number, my email, uh, so you can reach out to me. Any, any, any way uh, to reach out to me is gonna work. Um, if you guys need a realtor to represent you, let me know. I'll be glad to assist you. I'm always down to uh, help new clients and gain your business and your trust. So feel free to reach out to me. I'll be glad to assist you and be your realtor throughout the transaction. My fees to, uh, are paid by the builder. So my commission, everything, you don't have to pay a dime. My services to you are free. But however, you need to call me first before you come into the sales office because once you go into the sales office, they're not gonna let me represent you. So keep that in mind. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I guess I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.